Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. So I want to come on here and do a part two about this whole Cardi B situation and Star Marie. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you guys know I rarely do a part two or update because I'm the type of person, I said what the fuck I said and that's about it, okay? But what happened is that people started questioning my integrity. People started sending me threats. People were trying to start campaigns to flag down my channel. People were leaving me stupid comments such as these. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys. These are just a few of the comments that were flooding my video where I called Star Marie a fraud and a liar, and I stand by that video 100%. Let me go ahead and just, you know, read to you guys some of these comments here. So somebody named Diamond Light says, a lot of those screenshots from Facebook are fake. I can see the editing. This is so messy. And they say, unlovely is just mad because Tasha got the interview, jealous shot biatch. Dorothy can't spell worth shit, but it's all good, Dorothy. You keep on assuming that. Um, then Tati Rodriguez says, many fell for the fake pages that Cardi B created, but Turquoise Diamond, I'm not sure who that is, called it out. Yes, Cardi B set that girl up, so we need to be real careful using receipts from fake pages. Okay, you sound really self-assured there, hon. And then I think my favorite was from this biscuit head motherfucker named James Caesar who says, let's be real, you're just mad because Marie didn't give you an interview, you hoe, you ugly black bitch, and wipe that fucking bright ass lipstick off your black ass face. Your typical hair hat, lying ass black bitch, stop lying hoe. So these were like, those were just a few, okay? I just wanted to share those with you guys and I'm blasting each and every one of those people because at this point in time, I don't give a fuck. If you're bold enough to come on my page and spew bullshit like that, then I'm gonna blast your page and people can do to you what they feel, okay? My issue is this, one thing about me, I hold myself on integrity. I always try and check my sources, but every now and then, yes, you will get some misinformation. For instance, like the Machine Gun Kelly situation, top news outlets, top hip hop outlets, Billboard, Cosmopolitan, all types of websites were reporting that Machine Gun Kelly was booed. So I too reported it because the top news sites basically allegedly verified that it was a real video. Then come to find out two days later, uh, Machine Gun Kelly talked about on The Breakfast Club that it wasn't real and that an Eminem fan had inserted the booze. Okay, so there's no problem with retracting things if you're wrong. And, you know, as far as that situation goes, the whole booing situation, it's one thing to put out some misinformation about some booze. It's another thing to just straight up be slanderous and to straight up defame somebody's character. And that's what we're about to go ahead and break down here. One of my followers DM me and said that there's a chick who's Cardi B's roommate who's blasting her on live. You might want to go ahead and watch this because she's saying that she doesn't know how to, you know, save the footage or whatever. So first they sent me a short video clip and I'm like, oh, wow, this sounds interesting. So then I go and I watch it, and I'm wa- as I'm watching it, she's saying she doesn't know how to save it. So I go back and I record the entire live stream, which I'm glad I did, because that live stream alone caught her up in a lot of inconsistencies, okay? So I record that, and as you guys see, the commentary was only about five minutes, because I had shot so many other videos earlier that day. And this is just, you know, brand new information. There was nothing to dispute this or dispel that. This was something that was going viral on Instagram at the time. And I said, well, you know what? She does seem kind of credible. She's an older woman. You know, she's saying that she's conscious now, you know, a vegan. You know, something about her seems kind of credible, but you know, you never know. I never said that, you know, what she said was a smoking gun. I never said that what she said was 100% factual. The key word is seemed credible, okay? Just like any other news story that goes viral on social media seems credible at first, until more information comes to back it out and make it 100% factual, or else more information comes out and it basically discredits the entire story altogether. So I'm very curious as to why, you know, when somebody like Charlemagne, when Jessica Reed came out and she was accusing Charlemagne the God, folks were saying, you're a liar, you're ugly, Charlemagne would never talk to her, she's a clout chaser, she's looking for attention, right? That was about 95% of the people's reactions when Jessica Reed first came out. But then what happened? All of a sudden, audio started getting leaked of Charlemagne the God saying a lot of fucked up shit. Things started coming up on other forums and on YouTube 
audio evidence of him basically stating, putting, you know, Spanish fly in girls' drinks and, you know, saying all types of like really fucked up shit, making rape jokes. So once those audio came, so once that audio came out of Charlemagne the God, it made a lot of folks give him the side eye. Even so much so that Joe Button on his podcast was even saying, well, damn, that, you know, that's some really shady shit. Like, you know, he really shouldn't be talking like that. So it's funny that one more information came out about Charlemagne and people started giving him the side eye because more information came out so much so that he had to address it on his um, Breakfast Club show, even had his wife come on there. That seems to make sense to everybody. But then when I put something out there and then when I turn around and say, look, I have more proof, more evidence. This bitch is a liar, regardless of what the first video said. Now there's more evidence. Now there's more proof. And y'all can't seem to comprehend that. I find that really, really strange, okay? So I'm getting called a liar. People are questioning my integrity um, because Tasha did the interview with the girl. And once again, like I've told y'all on Instagram, like I said, we are not joint at the hip. For whatever reason, Tasha believes this Star Marie chick and she has a right to believe her. She interviewed her. She feels like the girl is telling the truth. That is Tasha's right to feel that way. Just like I said on Instagram, all you people thinking y'all about to come to my page and make me apologize for some shit, Y'all had me all the way fucked up, okay? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. Nigga, what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I go hard, cuz. That's what I'm letting you guys know. I'm not apologizing for anything, like I stated in Tasha's live stream, where people are trying to insinuate that I should apologize. I'm not apologizing for my truth. I'm not apologizing for the four days I spent going through receipts, going through screenshots, talking to people, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure that all the information I had was factual before I put up that interview, not to mention the six hours it took me to edit that video, okay? So no, nobody's getting an apology from me, especially not Star Marie, okay? So now on top of that, um, I also find it funny that, you know, when it comes to my screenshots, you guys are coming to my comment section saying that they're fake, they're not real, but then other people can use screenshots and all of a sudden that's the smoking gun. So what I'm going to do is kind of break down a lot of stuff section by section. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but like I told you guys, today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time. Yes, that is my favorite meme. You guys know that. So I'm going to go ahead and start breaking all of this down to you guys as to why Star Marie is a liar and why I stand by my original video and why none of you guys will shame me out of my stance because I'm saying some shit that some of you guys don't want to hear. I don't give a fuck. This is my platform, okay? Thanks. Now, people know, you know what I'm saying? If I've ever posted a false story, you know, anything false on Instagram or on YouTube, I've always come back and cleared it up. Now, what I find funny, okay, everybody's saying that Cardi B lied because she said that she didn't know this girl. Now, what I find funny is that one of the most famous memes of all time, one of the funniest memes, I've used this several times on this channel as well, is when Mariah Carey was interviewed overseas and they asked her, you know, how she felt about J-Lo. And what was Mariah Carey's response? In case you don't know, let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Komponiert gute Songs und ist eine exzellente Sängerin. Außerdem ist sie eine sehr süße Person. Und was ist mit J Lo? Die kenne ich nicht. Mariah Carey flat out said, I don't know her. Okay? Meaning, of course she knows who J Lo is, but she does not know her personally. So hence, I'm not talking about J Lo when you're supposed to be interviewing me about my shit, okay? So what I gathered from that is not Cardi B trying to say that she doesn't know this girl. It's Cardi B saying, yeah, you know, I don't know her. I may know of her, but I don't know her. How many of us have ran across people, met people in passing, even hung out with people at the club or, you know, went to a social event and you've met people? That doesn't mean that you personally know them. You know everything they've been through. That's your best friend. They don't live with you. You know, why does common sense only work for regular people? But when it comes to celebrities, all of a sudden, oh, you know, you, you're taking it verbatim. That doesn't make any sense to me. Clearly, she's saying that she does not know the girl like that, okay? Now, we all like to kiki, sip tea, you know, talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, you know, throw a little shade. That's, there's a whole sector on YouTube that does this, okay? They do it to celebrities. They do it to, you know, makeup and beauty gurus. There's a whole sector for this type of stuff. And I'm all for kiki and, you know, having commentary and talking about things that are viral with celebrities. But what I'm not down with is trying to ruin somebody's career. What I'm not down 
with is trying to, you know, play down in the gutter. What I'm not down with is accusing somebody of having an STD, is accusing somebody of prostitution, is accusing somebody of hardcore drugs when you have no proof whatsoever. I mean, her whole story is just batshit crazy. I've caught this woman star Marie in so many lies, it's re damn dickless. And if you can lie about these little petty things, it says a lot about your character. And once your character is shady to me, I don't trust shit that comes out your mouth. Point blank, period. Now, I've seen a lot of videos popping up with my name in the title, you know, and a lot of people were fair and I respected that. And I also saw different comments in comment sections, people, you know, just, just making up all types of wild ass conspiracies that I'm playing good cop to Tasha's bad cop. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I'm not in kindergarten. Okay, I don't have to play good cop, bad cop. What I put out there is my information and how I feel about something. I don't make videos based off of nobody else's platform, okay? Do you know how many videos Cynthia G has out that I don't agree with? But guess what, I still pay her every month on Patreon. Do you know how many videos that Phil Evai Show has made that I don't agree with? But guess what, he still gets my donation money every damn month. So I don't have to play good cop, bad cop with no damn body, okay? My words are my words and my videos my videos. So all y'all in these comment sections starting conspiracies and saying that, you know, I'm doing this to throw somebody under the bus or, you know, I'm blasting a friend. Y'all are stupid as hell. No, Tasha feels how she feels and I feel how I feel. And if you guys can't comprehend that, then I feel sorry for y'all, okay? And if I have to be the bad guy, then you can call me T. Lee, okay? I'll be the bad guy. I'll be the bad guy exposing this crazy ass mentally insane same bitch point blank period so now like everybody i watched tasha's interview because i wanted to see what these receipts were because tasha really felt like this girl was telling the truth i have always felt after i did my research on this woman that there was something wrong with this woman there's something wrong about her character and that i felt she was a fraud and that was my stance she felt otherwise and that's fine okay so when i watched the interview you know First of all, I saw way too much talking about, you know, Cardi B's vaginal area and odors and all types of stuff. But what I didn't hear her talking about, what I didn't see was her bringing factual receipts that she stayed with Cardi B, okay? So she claimed she lived with Cardi B in 2013. She claimed that the reason why she could not take pictures with Cardi B is because she was on probation, okay? And that she could not get caught being in New York because she was not supposed to leave. I think she was living in Georgia at the time or something like that. She was not supposed to be in New York. So that's why she couldn't take a picture with Cardi B, which to me makes no sense because that same year, in 2013 of that same year, she was doing all types of promo pictures, okay? Not only with Sue, not only with the club Sue, where she's telling people to come to Sue's rendezvous on Monday, okay? Here goes some pictures of her. But I also had some people in Brooklyn hit me up, okay? These are people in Brooklyn who have nothing to do with Cardi B. But one of the girls, she's been a tea sipper for a while, and she slid in my DM, and she said, you know what? I wasn't sure if I recognized her because the girl that we knew, she went by the name Ebony and she always wore a blonde wig. I didn't know her, you know, for having natural hair and stuff like that. And she sent me some old pictures of Ebony, AKA Star Marie, AKA Swan. That's the name that Cardi B and her crew know her by, which is Swan, okay? She said back in 2013, she was living in Brooklyn with them and they were starting like this modeling group and that this girl basically ended up, she was cool with one of the main girls. She ended up sleeping with the girl's man. And that's when they all fell out. So while she's saying that she was staying with Cardi B, I have other people stating that she was in Brooklyn with this group of people. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these text men. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these DMs. Now for all you guys who are slow, cause I had to block a bitch the other day because she didn't seem to be able to comprehend. For all you guys who are slow, understand that I do respect people's privacy. And I ask anybody in my DM when they send me information, once I verified it, do you want a shout out? Do you want me to, to you know, post this and show your name? They have the right to say, no, please don't show my name. I'm not looking for any clout. I don't want any of that attention. I give people the right to their privacy, okay? That's called integrity and that's called being a decent person. I'm not just gonna sit here and just blast somebody, okay? So she did not want to be identified, but I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what she sent me. So she says, that woman didn't live with Cardi B. She stayed in BK at that time. A memory just came back to me while, while watching an interview on, on the I Am Hater Marie page. She looked so different. I, I couldn't put my finger on it. Now I remember her. She was staying with this guy that got killed in the Troy Ave shooting. We called him Banga. And as we all know, Banga was the one that was running with Tax Stone at the time when he got killed, okay? So this is some real tea for that ass. 
Then, so basically I tell her, I said, yeah, I remember that whole story with Benga. And I'm telling her I need, I need receipts. Because people know when they DM me, okay, stories are cool. That's fine and dandy. I need receipts, okay? So then she says, I'm going to ask around. She's a liar. I know my people's called her Ebony. My best friend lived in that house and she has the real tea. Then she started sending me screenshots um, of the Facebook group. They were trying to start this fashion modeling group. And she was one of the models. And here goes a picture of her right there. And this was back in 2013. So then um, I replied back to her. Then she comes back and she says, and the guy Danny was dating this girl, Hazy. She was the one that had the models and Hazy was Danny's girl. And Star slept with Danny and kept hanging around. She was supposed to be a Hazy model. And then she says, peep the blonde wig. This is why I didn't recognize her at first. She looked so different and she used to be slutting. Here goes me and my friend's convo right now. Then she sends me a text message between her and her homegirl. And then she tells her homegirl they just want to expose her. Her homegirl replies back and says, yes, this was, 20, this was 2013 fall. Then she replies back, she's a thot. That's why she had to go vegan to deactivate her herpes. Then the homegirl says, right, but the crazy shit is I'm thinking she might have got herpes from Crown because they all used to have sex. Then Crown went to see Dr. Sabi and came back and was on a fast. I got to do a lot of thinking. Then at that point, I had seen a comment in my comment section and a girl had said that she used to date Star Marie's baby daddy. She says, I know Star Marie. I used to date her baby daddy, Steven. Me and her used to talk on Facebook. I see she's exposing now. So then I asked the girl in my DM, did she know, you know, Star Marie's real name? And did she know her husband? Should she talk anything about her husband? She replies back to me after talking to her friend. She says her husband's name was Stephen. Jones is her maiden name. So that name Stephen matches what this random woman said in my comment section about dating Stephen. So that right there checked out. But we're going to come back to that Stephen situation Further ahead, y'all keep walking with me through this bullshit. Honey. Okay, the rabbit hole goes deeper, okay? So now, like I said, the connects that I had in the conscious community, they started hitting me up and they were telling me, they sent me other videos of Star Marie, you know, rubbing all over Dr. Sabi and just, you know, being very inappropriate with a grown man who's married. And from what they told me, that she ended up getting kicked out of the village, out of Dr. Sabi's village, because not only did she have sex with Dr. Sabi, she also was trying to seduce Brother Yada, okay? And they're trying to get Brother Yada to give me a statement. They have a video of Brother Yada basically blasting Star Marie, but at the time, they had no idea that she was a stripper named Star Marie. They all knew her by a different name, okay? So I went to look up information on Brother Yada. He does have some videos on YouTube. He's about, you know, holistic health and stuff like that um here goes a video of her with somebody else in the conscious community this is not brother yada by the way but this is just you know a part of her life when she was trying to live you know conscious check this out minerals mm. cauliflower has nothing in it that's why it is white it has no carbon mm. no carbon mm, mm, mm. so ca cauliflower is worse than broccoli i don't even think a cauliflower now, as far as nuts, pecan is not on your list, and they make a lot of pecan in the South. <clears throat> is pecan a good nut to you? Pecan is a, a natural nut. The only natural nut is that walnut. Okay, I hope I answered y'all questions for y'all, because this I is have a question. Smell. It's basically when they elicit sexual favors from you. Just don't do that. Really, what are they telling me when they when they ask me to be on the casting couch? What's the, what are they saying to me, basically? Well, basically, they trade your career for sex. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not on yet, but you know what? That's not going to happen because I'm not a thirsty bitch. And my boy knows that Star always gets what she needs to get the right way. So I'm going to spit and I'm going to invest in myself and I'm going to make this happen. Right? That's right. Give me a hug for good luck. Oh, you need, you don't need luck. Mm. Oh, he's also a good reader too. He does natal charts, astrology, herbs. He's Nuwapian. He's a good man. I've known him for years and I'm coming to get my aloes. And my cat's claw because I need to be celebrity ready when they come knocking on my door because it's going to happen. Heat. 
to reign internal with my compasses. Thank you all for noticing, but please hold your compliments. I am who I am. Y'all not fucking with my confidence. No guilty conscience. I'm all about consciousness. Positive vibes which I provide. I don't contradict. Where I reside, the bona fide keep the mantra lit. See, it's all right. So you guys just saw that video of her with Dr. Sabi, and then you guys saw the video of her with the other conscious guy. So, like I said, this woman has so many different personalities. It's insane. Okay. So one of the things that she told Tasha is that, you know, I help, you know, put Cardi B on. I help her, you know, made, I help make her look better, took her to go fix her weave. And, you know, just I help spruce her up because, you know, she was wearing really cheap weave. She didn't know how to take care of herself. OK, so now let's see what Star Marie was doing back in 2013 versus what Cardi B was doing back in 2013, okay? So since she claims that she had to give Cardi B all of this help, let's see what she was up to, okay? Back in 2013, Star Marie was leaving King of Diamonds. She had been working at King of Diamonds. Here goes some video of her right here. You know, the same person who claims that, you know, she can't be photographed and she can't be seen because she's nervous because she's on probation because what she did to get on probation happened well before 2013. OK, so this is her in 2012 at King of Diamonds doing a damn stripper documentary. Go ahead and check this out. Can you promise not to shoot me with it? Oh, yeah, I promise I won't shoot you. Thank you. Well, basically, my name is China and my ass is his own person. So what's your name? My name is Egypt. Egypt? Yes. And obviously Strawberry, the world famous see, Strawberry. You see, follow me. Well, I dance under BB. Do you like me? I do, I do, do like, very do much. Oh look, and you have the uh, the Maybach. Uh, is that just for tonight, or is that coincidence? All right, so you guys just saw that documentary, and to show you guys that it's valid, Scrawberry from Love and Hip Hop on Miami, she was also in the documentary, okay? She's a well-known stripper at KOD. So while Star, aka Ebony, because that's the name she went with, you know, during her days at King of Diamond in 2012 before she ran her ass to New York, um, so while she was swinging off of poles and, and, you know, dancing and shit like that, guess what Cardi B was doing in 2012 and 2013, okay? This was sent to me from Cardi B personally, and I got Cardi B's permission to use this and to use this conversation. Cardi B has contacted me. Me and her have talked. I'm not doing this video because Cardi B contacted me. If I was clout chasing, I wanted you guys to know that she contacted me. I would have stated that in the very first video. I never mentioned it because the video was not about Cardi B. The video was about me exposing Star Marie, okay? I don't need clout. I don't need attention. I don't need nobody trying to give me props because Cardi B, you know, talked to me. I'm not about that life. I've been around a lot of celebrities. I met a lot of celebrities. I don't get enamored by that. I'm a regular person just like she's a regular person, okay? So Cardi B DM'd me and we were having a conversation and basically she was telling me like, you know, look T, this is what I was doing in 2012 and 2013, but this woman's saying that I'm jacked up, I look crazy, I didn't know, you know, how to do my hair and my makeup. She said I didn't have a lot, but I was doing okay. So this grown woman who was in her late 30s at the time was still stripping at King of Diamonds around this time. Meanwhile, Cardi B, who's between the ages of 19 and 20, she's doing big budget music videos with French Montana. She's at Sirius Radio, Shady Radio. This is what Cardi B was doing in, at the, in this time frame. But again, this woman claimed that she helped Cardi B come up. She claimed that she had to, you know, put Cardi B under her wing and get her a job at Sue's. How are you getting somebody a job at Sue's when she's booking big budget music videos? Please explain your big brain. Bitch. Damn, this tea's piping hot, okay? So, anyways, so you guys just seen what the hell Star Marie was doing, what she was up to in 2012 and 2013, compared to what the hell Cardi B was doing. So, she didn't put Cardi B onto shit, okay? So, now moving on to the next part, because this, like I said, it's gonna be a long video. Y'all, y'all's enjoying it. Y'all gonna watch, you know what I mean? So, now let's get on to uh, Cardi B's homegirls, okay? Now, when I watched the interview, when I watched Tasha's receipts that she posted Friday, I wasn't feeling the receipts, and, you know, Tasha knows that. Um, but the one receipt that I thought, okay, might be kind of credible was the thing about Cardi B's makeup artist. Because I'm like, well, damn, why is Cardi B's makeup artist, you know, telling all this to Tasha? That doesn't make sense. And when I went on her page, you know, she had very recent pictures of Cardi B. So I'm like, they got to be friends. So I asked Cardi B, I'm like, you know, what's up with your makeup artist homegirl? Why is she telling your business? Why would she say that, you know, um, old girl was living with you? If that's your friend, that's foul. When I asked Cardi B this, she stated that her friend didn't say that, that she didn't mean it that way. Even though, yes, 
in the DM with Tasha, it does say that. But like I said, that part seemed somewhat credible to me um, when I watched Tasha's receipts because in that DM, you see where she says, I know that Star only lived with her for a short time. So I confronted Cardi B about that. And this is what Cardi B said in the DM. She says she lived with me for two weeks and she lived with me around 2015, but I already knew her for two weeks and I was very close to her until this day I still speak to her. Swan, who is Star Marie, was a whole stranger. I was not going to let a stranger in my home. So I think what happened is, okay, this is me using common sense and logic here. When she wrote um, that Star only lived with her for a short time, I truly believe that that makeup artist, Shanta, meant she only lived with Cardi B for a short time. So she doesn't know. She only lived with Cardi B for two weeks because when I confronted Cardi B in the DM, Cardi B said the same thing. She only lived with me for two weeks. She's talking about Shanta, not Swan. So even though she sent that to Tasha, I believe it got lost in translation, okay? Because think about it. Why would she throw her friend of so many years, a girl who was there for her when her mother died, you know, when she lost, when she had to move out her building, Cardi B let her move in with her. Why would she throw that relationship away for a random blogger on YouTube that she doesn't know? No, this girl is one of Cardi B's makeup artists. She travels with Cardi. On top of that, she's making connections. Here's a video of her doing Remy Ma's makeup. Thank you. Reb, you look beautiful, honey. Thank you. Courtesy of you. <laughs> Thank you. Reb, you look beautiful, honey. Thank you. Courtesy of you. <laughs> Thank you, boo boo. Why would she ruin all of that to, you know, to spill some lies to Tasha about Cardi? That doesn't make sense. So to me, I feel like even though she wrote that, it was something that was lost in translation. And then let's use common sense, people, okay? This is a woman, the makeup artist, Shanta, who is still employed by Cardi B. She did Cardi B's makeup as recently as just a few weeks ago. Why would she risk her job? Okay, why would she risk her money? Cardi B's actually paying her money. Nobody else on social media is paying her. I'm not cutting her no check. Nobody's cutting her check. Why would she risk her job and her livelihood to go spill some tea on Cardi B with somebody that she doesn't know? That doesn't make any sense. Who's going to risk their job to go spill some tea when she's living her best life with her homegirl? They get to travel and, you know, go do them and have a good old time. Cardi B looked out for this girl. She lived with Cardi B. Why would her loyalty not lie with Cardi B? Why would her loyalty lie with somebody that she doesn't know? That doesn't make any sense. We have to use common sense when looking at all of this information, okay? Now somebody else dropped me some tea, okay? So somebody else jumped in my DM and they basically said, look at this screenshot. Now, this girl on her live stream, she told everybody she was 40 years old. That was part of the reason why I said, you know what? Maybe she might seem credible because she's not Cardi B's age. If this was another 21-year-old, I definitely would have side-eyed it because it's like, okay, she's 21. You know, she's a younger version of Cardi or she's trying to be like Cardi. But being that this was an older woman, I thought, well, maybe with her age, you know, why would she do this? Because, you know, I'm older. I don't see myself doing all of this. This is just insane to me. Um, but she said in the live stream, she also said to Tasha that she was 40. So much so that Tasha even praised her because she does. Let's keep it real. She looks good for her age, okay? But then on social media, she says that she's 39. This woman is batshit crazy. Y'all check this out. Right, so now on top of that, it also talks about Cardi B being racist and hating black women and things like that. Now, let me say this. Has Cardi B said problematic stuff in the past? Yes, she has. And I've done videos calling that shit out. You know what I'm saying? But Cardi B says that she was not talking about all black women. She was just talking about that particular girl. You know, if you guys want to say that she's colorist, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to change anybody's mind, and I'm not here to ignore the fact that Cardi B has said some problematic stuff, okay? I'm not going to sit there and ignore that. But this girl, Star Marie, knows that by saying that, she's playing on to this whole colorism thing. That's why she's trying to bring that up. If this woman is so big on blackness, 
and she's so big on what Cardi B said and Cardi B hates black women and Cardi B's a colorist. Well, Star Marie, can you explain these old Facebook posts where you're talking shit about African people? You're talking shit about people from the Caribbean. You're calling them niggers. You're talking about their noses and everything else. This is a woman who spent her time with very dark skinned people down there in Honduras, okay? She spent her time with people who had accents, but yet and still on this post, she's making fun of people with accents. Go ahead and check this out. supposed to be conscious and rubbing on Dr. Sabi's head like a damn drum at the Apollo but yet and still she's talking shit about you know black people's wide noses and calling them monkeys so who's really the colorist who really has an issue with people's features all right so you guys just saw that post so then the other day I took to social media and I posted this because a lot of folks were coming at me sideways trying to say that I had fake receipts okay and this was particularly after the live stream went down on Friday and so I had to post this, you know what I'm saying, to let folks know I said what the hell I damn said, okay? So I posted this. I said, first and foremost, I'm assuming a lot of y'all must have missed the comment that I wrote in Tasha K's live stream. So let me refresh y'all's memory. I'm not apologizing for a damn thing, 100. I stand by everything I put in my video about Star Marie. This woman is a clout chasing pathological liar. I will break down to y'all how she has this po how she has this particular Facebook post showing two different dates. They were not Photoshop. She thinks she's slick, but she's not slick enough. Star Marie, I suggest you stay out of my DMs. I'm not responding to you. We are not friends, so stop being messy and stop trying to talk to other bloggers behind the scenes. The only person you should be conversing with is Tasha K. There's no need for you to slide into my DMs looking to converse with me. Nothing to say to me. Nothing you say to me will make me change my mind about you. Your character is shady as hell and there are far too many discrepancies in your tall, sexy tail. By the way, why are you liking your own comment? I never even replied back to you. Hashtag side eye. Once again, when people show you their true colors, I believe them. I'm not apologizing to no one. I stand by my video, by my truth. Tasha is free to stand in her truth as well. It's all good. She believes Star Marie 100%, and I think Star Marie is a liar and an opportunist. And as two grown women, we can agree to disagree 100. I said what I said. Don't at me. So basically, I posted that after I saw later on that day that Star Marie had slid into my DMs. So at 9 o'clock that morning, um, Star Marie hit me up and she says, them receipts you got are all Photoshop. I'm sure you know that. I'm not mad at you, though, because you're doing your job. Tasha K and her investigations are the bomb. I'm so glad I found her. Then this dumb big brain bitch liked her own comment. As you guys see, I never approved her. One thing I don't do, I don't play these little kitty games, okay? If you rock with somebody, you stay over there and you rock with them, okay? I stand by my video. Star Marie knows how I feel about her. So for her to try and slide into my DM, she did that one because she feels like, you know what? Lovely T has a pretty big platform. And if I can get Lovely T and Tasha K on my side, I'm in there. No, bitch, you're wrong. You're not in there with me, okay? I said what I said in my video. You're a liar and you're a fraud. So there was no need for you to DM me. So you DMing me shows me your true colors. It shows me your true motives. And it shows me what you're trying to do, okay? You're trying to be an opportunist. You're going from platform to platform to platform. And you're not playing those games with me, okay? I'm a grown woman with kids, just like you're a grown woman with kids. And I don't entertain bullshit, okay? If you're over there sipping wine, stay over there and sip wine. Like I tell folks from day one, you can't sip with us, okay? Once I see that you're a fraud and a liar, you cannot sip with me. Go sit your ass over there, Star Marie, okay? So that's why I went in on Instagram because I don't play little kid games. I don't play the whole back and forth. I'm going to be in your DM telling you one thing and be over here. No, nah, I don't do that because why? This is how folks get caught up. Now, there's another lady named Mona Simone, okay? Mona Simone. I hadn't heard of her before this. People started sending me her videos. Um, seems like a real cool chick. You know, she talks about like counseling and helping people and stuff like that. But supposedly she was supposed to get an interview first with um, Star Marie. Star Marie had promised it to her first. And then um, Star Marie was saying that Tasha was telling her not to interview with other people, okay? 
And so, you know, people were waiting for receipts because initially she posted a video, but there were no receipts. There were no audio. So it's like, okay, is this woman telling the truth? Is she not telling the truth? You know, I don't know. <laughs> no way. No way. I want to see the receipts. So then people sent me the updated video of her and literally it's this girl star Marie talking about Tasha to Mona Simone talking about Tasha told her not to interview with her and you know basically throwing Tasha under the bus I'm not feeling that shit you're not about to be talking to this lady about Tasha saying one thing about her your friend the one person who has your back you're talking bad about her to another youtuber then you think you're about to slide up in my dms I don't play them games I don't I don't do friends like that I'm good y'all go ahead and y'all check this out and she also like um I, I feel you, and she also, um, her radio station that I went to is very nice. The building she's in is, is really, really nice. I don't know if you've been there before, but it's really nice. They they had an empty, two empty stations, and one, they said they would, she offered me a job to do help, but I can't, I can't do the job because I'm not going to be there. You know, I don't live in the country, I'm just here visiting. So, um, but she offered me a job and everything today. She was like, you know what, do you want to uh, do radio for your health and stuff? Because I can get you all... They got contracts right now that's open. It's a job and everything. And I will, I will definitely get you a job. You sound so good. I feel so bad for you. And if you don't have a job or nothing, honey, you can work here. And they had another um, little disc jockey, like a little radio station studio. I've never done radio before, but she said they could train me and all this other stuff. And I was like, no, I'm good. You know, I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm video, guys. Too, but... I just don't really want to go against her right now, only because, I mean, I'm just proud of it, and I'll respect it at the end of the day. Um, I, 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 I still want your interview done from talking to someone else about that. You said, well, like, well, you know, it's just I, I was like, yeah, but I was like, I don't think Tara do that because me and her been talking, but that's, you know, I, it is what it is. I, I don't, well, I don't. Well, you're not the only person doing that, but I respect you for making the best decision for you. Right, Nay. Yeah, I'm not, I, you're not the only one. I had somebody from the UK who, uh, who's also um, viral too, and I told him the same thing, and um, another person. So it's not like, like it's not just you. I just happened to have your interview today. She told me, um, she was like, if you do, because I mean, she on there arguing, girl. I, 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 I've never seen nobody take that much flack on their page. For somebody to interview me, she likes it all the time. But the thing is, and then what doesn't make sense, just to stay logical, reasonable, anybody who's doing interviews, especially if you have something to talk about, everybody has different followings. Everybody has different types of people that follow them. So it wouldn't make sense not to interview with several people. I mean, not a hundred, but several people. Well, I want to interview because you're reaching out different people. Well, I wanted to interview with you on Thursday because she told me that I, she, if, I can interview with you after Thursday. Uh, See, she told her she can interview with me after Thursday. And if you go to Tasha K's page, she was planning to drop her interview Thursday. But once she found out, and you'll hear at the end of this call, uh, Star Marie agreed to go ahead and do the vid vid video interview with me which we did up until late at night till about 1 o'clock at night and then she contradicts herself several times in the video so she did something on her end to prevent me from getting the video and then I guess Tasha K got wind of that and she dropped her video a day early alright so you guys just watch that snippet okay so another thing that got Star Marie caught up is that when Tasha was interviewing her, she specifically told Tasha that she lived with Cardi B for two weeks, okay? And then the whole situation went down with the whole, you know, trick situation where they were in the bed and she was supposedly asleep and the trick was eating her out and she didn't know. Big lie, okay? You know, Star showed me some text messages between her and Sean. I said, you know what? Let me see if Sean to tell me personally because I don't want to pull nothing, okay? Okay? Now, real quick, Star only lived with Cardi B for a couple weeks, so that's why there were no pictures. I you had helped her get a job at the club, and yes. then you guys moved in together because you mentioned you were you having trouble getting a lease in your name. And how long right, did you tell me how long y'all lived together after that when the last time that you spoke with her? Okay, um, now, we lived together at least, it had to be at least six months or so, and... So she says she lived with Cardi B for two weeks, but then she tells Mona Simone 
She tells Mona Simone that Sheila with Cardi B for six months. Listen to these two discrepancies. Check this out. Okay, now, real quick, Star only lived with Cardi B for a couple weeks. We lived together at least, it had to be at least six months or so. All right, so you guys just heard that. Now, I want to go ahead and shout out this other woman. I didn't know who she was, but shout out to her. She's doing her thing. Her name is Grown Folk, and basically, she found another clip of Star Marie telling lies. When she was interviewing with Tasha, she said the reason why she left Cardi B was because of that fight. And after that, she stopped stripping because it was too much drama. And she just wanted to, you know, find herself and take care of her son, right? Well, now, um, this woman, grown folk, found an old video of Star Marie. Well, not that old, but it's from two years ago. And basically, she's saying that she had, that she had decided to stop stripping two years ago. But when she talked to Tasha, she claimed that she stopped stripping back in 2013 when her and Cardi B got into it. So go ahead and listen to this clip from Tasha's interview and then go ahead and listen to this video that Star Marie posted two years ago stating that she was stopping stripping because the ancestors told her to. This bitch is batshit crazy. Check this out. Okay. And um, I, he had a beautiful house and I was renting the um, bottom. Okay. It was like a last minute thing after I left her, her house. Okay. And um, yeah, and I left everything and I went straight from, from, from the club. I called my mom's here in Atlanta. I told her too what was happening while I was in the car. And she um she called the airline from the phone and okay. did the credit card thing and I just flew right out of New okay. York and I never went back. And at that time by that time, Follies here in Atlanta was um you it was all right to work in Follies because of the zone that they was in without a, a license. Okay. So I closed out my dancing career at Follies. Okay. So okay. you said and never to return to New York or strip club again. Well tell me why I found this. And um one of the biggest decisions I made uh was to basically start a new career. Um I officially will not be stripping anymore. Um uh, the ancestors have came to me and told me that that time is definitely up. So uh, no more dancing, uh, no more stripping, no more bars, no more clubs. I'm completely uh, rededicating my life to something else and something more conducive and more constructive. Honey. All right. We're still going. So now, if that's not crazy enough, okay, I want to go ahead and shout out Prestige Light Beauty. She's on Instagram. When I tell you this woman was not playing, she was sending me receipts for days, okay, on this Star Marie chick. Since she wants to sit here and talk about Cardi B and, and talk about her health and talk about all this shit, you see, she has a lot of dirt in her past as well. She, this woman was able to pull her criminal record and find out why she was on probation because that was everybody's big question. Well, bitch, what did you do? Why were you on probation? Why weren't you with your child? While you're worried about Cardi B and all this bullshit, what did you do? Well, come to find out. Remember I told you I was going to get back to that name, Steven? So in this section of the video, I do want to update this. Initially, I had said that Star Marie stabbed her husband, and that was not the case. That was some misinformation, so I do want to set the record straight. Um, another family member of hers hit me up in my DM, and this is what they said. They said, Star Marie is lying to you and everyone. I can't sit back and watch this anymore. She truly has mental issues, assault her ex in their Marietta home, which was in his name, not stabbed. However, she has repeatedly lied in her life and would be considered a pathological liar. I'm so sorry you fell for this as many have. She's very convincing. Everyone around her is destroyed or scarred, which is why she is alone and has no close friends. You will soon find out. Be cautious. You did the world a service in exposing her. I'm glad you are protecting yourself spiritually. Now, that's one of her family members who gave me that extra tea and who let me know that this was definitely a spiritual battle. And so if you guys have not seen the video that I just posted earlier today, make sure you guys watch the esoteric breakdown of Star Marie in that diss video that she did towards Cardi B. But I wanted to put this update in this video to let you guys know that no, she did not stab her husband, but the assault was serious enough to where she got charged with a felony. Okay? And here go the court documents right here that this woman was able to pull on Star Marie. And guess what? The name matches the girl in my comment section who said, who said that she was dating her baby daddy, Steven. It also matches the name that the chicks gave me in Brooklyn, okay? Proving that this is the same woman, Star Marie, tied to all these different people, okay? 
And here go the court papers right here. So you guys seen some of those receipts. So I reached out to her because she also found addresses for Star Marie. See, my tea sippers, we don't play that shit, okay? What I've been doing for the past literally four days, you can ask every damn body who's been in my DMs, researching and pulling receipts because what y'all's not going to do is question Lovely T's integrity. I've been doing this for years and I don't play. My word is my bond, okay? That's what y'all's not going to do. You're not going to come to my comment section and tell me that I took an L. No, bitch, my name starts with an L, okay? That's the only L I'm taking. Lovely T, Leo gang, okay? Gang, gang. <laughs> so anyhow, I asked her, I said, okay, I see you were able to pull her addresses from like 2000, you know, I don't know, nine until like now. I said, but can you find out where she lived? Because I'm trying to see if we can match her in Brooklyn, okay? And this is what we were able to put together. So after me and her were searching for an address that would put, you know, um, Star Marie in New York, specifically Brooklyn in 2013, this is what um, Prestige Beauty sent me. She said the last, this is the last bit of information that I found. This young lady has issues of her own, but she's out there damaging other people's character. Let me tell you what I found on her. Her married name is Star Marie Simmons, maiden name Jones. Remember the people in Brooklyn told me her husband's name was Jones, okay? In June 2010, she attacked and assaulted her husband, Stephen Simmons, with a knife in their home while the child was present and destroyed his vehicle. She pled guilty to all the charges in August of 2010 and was given probation. I'm assuming her husband or someone had custody of their child because there was a restraining order against her. She claimed that she was fighting a court case in 2013 pertaining to her child in which she had to pay a lawyer. Remember, that's the whole uh, farce of this story is that she was stripping to pay lawyer bills, okay? I don't know what case she's referring to because she had already pled guilty in 2010 and was on probation for five years. The case was pretty much closed. If she was stripping, it was because she wanted to and not because she needed to. Her probation ended in March of 2016. Boom, bitch, boom. We come with receipts and facts. We not photoshopping shit over here, point blank, period. And if you a true tea sipper, you know that. I don't play when it come to my receipts. I contact everybody. I even slid in damn strawberries DM, but she ain't hit me back yet. She ain't seen it. Maybe she got a lot of, you know, guys in her DM. I don't know. She ain't checking for me. But I don't play when it comes to receipts. Now. I want to show y'all this whole discrepancy because this is the smoking gun that everybody's running with. But the dates don't match. How can she say that, you know, fuck Cardi B's record deal in 2013 when Cardi B didn't sign with Atlantic until 2016? Something don't match. And then you see the, the same post again in April of 2018. You know, something's not right. These is Photoshop. T, you fake. You Photoshop these pictures, blah, blah, blah. Now, the girl I am hater star Marie's page. What y'all's not gonna do is come for that woman, okay? Let me explain to you who she is. Why y'all think she's some little kid? This woman is not a Barty gang member. She is a conscious woman from the conscious community, okay? She is my conscious community source. And I know the folks that she fucks with in the conscious community. I know y'all think I'm ratchet and whatever else y'all want to think about me. That's fine. But y'all know I have connections with the Nation of Islam, with the conscious community, okay? And I was able to verify who the hell she was, okay? She has nothing to lie about. And when she posted that fake story about Star Marie killing her husband, she didn't know it was fake the the story was was photoshopped and put together and when she sent it to me i said sis that's fake take it down and she took it down we've all posted some misinformation at one point in time and we've taken it down and we've retracted it, and she did that y'all's not going to come for her because of that one fucking post because everything else she posted was 100 factual okay so that's what y'all's not going to do is come for her so now after i watched tasha's video and then i also watched i think daytime tea time Sorry for not saying your name right. And I have no problem with her. She didn't come for me. She was just saying that that looked funny to her. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to change my stance just because something looks funny. That's me. But this is nothing against her. I enjoyed watching her video. You know what I'm saying? And she has a right to come to the conclusion that she came up with at that time. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I confronted I am hater Star Marie. And I was like, one thing I don't do, I don't play with fake receipts and Photoshop. How is it that there's two different dates? Somebody got to explain something. And she said, 
what happened is that she had took this screenshot. Her and there's another woman. Um, she has raccoon in her name, okay? And I've been in close contact with her, and she sent me a lot of tea as well. They had screenshot and also recorded that original post, okay? The one that was from um, April 2018. Was it April 2018, 2017? The April post, I think it was April 7th. I don't know if that was 2018 or 2017, but either way it was more recent, okay? The one where she's going in on Cardi B. So that April post was on there. They took the screenshot, they did the video recording, then they confronted Star Marie about that. And they're like, you know, why are you talking shit about Cardi? You obviously have a vendetta against her. You're obviously hating on her. So then what Star Marie did, because she had forgot about that post, she hurried up and tried to change the date to confuse people. So that way it looked like, well, damn, this has to be fraudulent because it's saying 2013. Cardi B didn't have a record deal in 2013. She's like, on Facebook, you can change the dates. I never knew about this until they told me because why? I'm not on Facebook faking and fronting for people. So a lot of people don't know that Facebook has this option, okay? But you can change the dates and it moves it. So when she told me this, I said, okay, I see what you're saying, but I have to try it out for myself. I'm not gonna go off of what somebody tells me. So on that date when I spoke to I Am Hater Star Marie, whose page has since been deleted because I ran to go delete her page, you know what I'm saying? But I still have the screenshot of me and her talking about the situation. Um, that same day is when I went to my personal Facebook page and I had made a post that day. It was only seven hours old of J. Cole, okay? And I said, well, let me try this myself. So the first one, I had changed the date to, you know, 2002 or something like that and Facebook accepted it. So I'm like, well, damn, if you can change it back to 2002 when Facebook wasn't even a damn around, I'm sure you can change it back to, you know, 2013, okay? So I changed it from September 21st to September 18th to see if it worked. And this is a live recording of me doing what they told me that Star Marie did. So y'all go ahead and check out this video. This is how they were able to get two different dates from two different years via Facebook. Cause you notice she wasn't able to do it on no other site. She wasn't able to change them damn, you know, screenshots from Twitter. She wasn't able to change it from Instagram, but you can change it on Facebook. And she did that to throw folks off. Check this video out. All right, so you guys just saw how that was done. So that is the discrepancy in the dates. That's where that came from, okay? So I put all this together to say this, okay? Don't ever come for my receipts. I don't play. When I say I'm not feeling something, I'm calling somebody out as a liar and a fraud, I'm not doing that for views and clicks, okay? I'm doing that because that's what I believe and that's what I stand by, okay? I don't play when it comes to this YouTube thing. I take my journalistic integrity very, very seriously. You know what I mean? I don't play these little games. I'm going to be with this YouTuber one. I'm going to be with this YouTuber the next day. I'm going to be over here. I'm going to be over there. No, I don't do that. This woman is definitely suffering from a mental illness. I've had people in her family contact me and tell me this. There was even somebody who left a comment today on a post um, that Tasha wrote stating that she's related to Star Marie and that Star Marie has a mental illness. A lot of people have been telling me this. Everything about her, you can tell the woman is off. You know, one occupation, she's a beautician and a stylist. Then she's a stripper. Then she's conscious. She got kicked out the conscious community. This woman is looking for attention and fame. She's going to go about this any way possible. And to me, why I feel like I'm very involved invested in this story is because the woman went viral. Her video went viral based off of my platform, okay? Like I said, I had no idea at the time
time that the video was going to go viral. All I knew that it was a trending topic on Instagram. You know what I mean? It was trending on Instagram. I had no idea it was going to get as far as it did. But once I made the second video exposing her and she was still trying to play this game that she was telling the truth, it's like, you know what? No, now I have to come back with a part two, okay? No mother should have to go through that. Nobody should have to deal with that type of, you know, torment on social media. And then on top of that, the main thing that has me pissed off that people are not looking at you know what I'm saying? The main thing that has me really, really bothered, and that's the main thing that also has Cardi B bothered, this woman insinuated that Cardi B was in the same bed with her while she was raped by a man. Oh, he was eating my vagina, and I woke up, and she woke up, and I told her, I was like, yo, I did not, I didn't, I didn't even know he was down there playing with me. Like, I didn't even know he was even dealing with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I told her this. I told her this, and then I asked him. So I said, she came out and saw him. We saw him in the pulling morning. Pulling a Harvey. Well, uh, pulling sure. a Harvey. I guess <laughs> yeah. Harvey Weinstein. I guess so. Okay. Yeah, and... on me, and I was sleeping. Honestly, I was sleep. Okay. It was not consensual. I'm not gonna. I don't want to holler rape right now because okay. I'm. I don't. I'm. I'm not gonna consider that raping. I Even though she didn't use the word rape, if you are sleep. And you're with somebody that you don't know and you wake up to them giving you oral sex that is rape in a court of law point blank period has she went to the police he would have went to jail but instead she gets in the car with her rapist who raped her and has him drive her home your whole story's bullshit ma and what you're doing you're spreading so much untruths you're defaming somebody's character you're pulling shit out your ass and when i tell you karma is real star marie you will get your karma what you're doing is not okay. I mean, this whole fabrication, all this stuff is just sickening for what? To go viral on social media? To become a social media personality by any means necessary? But when I went to the studio, I've only been to the studio like maybe three or four times in my whole entire life. I just can't, I, I don't like the weed and the smoking and all that other stuff. So I, I quit rapping. So. This entire situation is just insane. Like I said, I'm going to always put my truth out there as I see it. I'm going to come with the facts. I'm going to come with the receipts. This is no shot at Tasha. She believes her truth. She believes Star Marie 100%. That is Tasha's business. Tasha has her own platform. She's a grown woman. I have my own platform. I'm a grown ass woman. I stand on my own. I stand on my own too. I don't need nobody to hold me up and validate me, okay? I don't need none of that shit. Y'all can rock with me. Y'all can not rock with me. But guess what? A bitch still going to be sitting on YouTube sitting and T Y because I'm here for it. Now what? <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.